So this is a part of Dundee's heritage here, right here. This used to be an old mill. And unfortunately at the moment, it's just uh, a dirt. Oh, there's another seagull, another seagull. There he is. Yes, one of the seagulls. It's uh, it's just abandoned and they just haven't done anything with them, folks. They're just totally abandoned and left just to basically to go to rack and ruin unless anybody really steps in and does everything. That's one of my song titles, look. Well, we're all, we're all gonna, gonna die. die. All going Nobody to die. will survive. Nobody will survive. survive. We're all going to die. Now, if I was younger and fitter, I would attempt to climb up that and get through there, folks, but uh, there's no chance. Right, well, while we're in this area, I've parked outside Frankie's house because uh, that was the most convenient place. So, I've just texted him and get the coffee pot on, man. So, let's go visit Frankie. Is it there? Oh, sorry. There's a, uh, a quick preview of Frankie's new video, folks. What could it, what, what on earth could he be doing? What is he doing in his video? Tune into his next video, folks. See what he's up First to. thing, and so if I didn't get up, I'm cooking. Actually cooking. Folks, just got some <laughs> massive intel, a secret intel here for you about Jolly Jock. <laughs> Jolly Jock's new video is going to include about linoleum and a famous person. So stay tuned for Jolly Jock's latest intriguing video, man. Oh, it's incredible. It's, it's an incredible tale. Relight my fire. Oh, yeah. Relight my fire. That's it. Relight my fire. Baby, baby, baby. What do you say? Relight my fire. Yeah, Ooh. relight my fire. Okay, maybe not. All right, folks, just having a, a bit of a, a tidy out here, a bit of a clear out. And I went to pick up the jag that's been sitting there for ages. And look, jag's falling away. He's withering away, folks. He must have the disease. A leper. Oh, leper. Oh, no, poor jag. Oh, I've had him for ages, man, as well. Oh, no, we need to try and keep him, restore him. Oh, no. Some exciting news, folks. I've turned uh, a couple of t shirts that Valor X gave me. Uh, says my mate George has got a, a YouTube channel. I'd strongly recommend you go and, 
have a look at some of his weird urbex videos like he goes into buildings as well and uh well, he's, he's got the the gyro the the what you call it the dji thing and the the gopro that moves and the the eyeball thing i can't remember what it's called now but he, he's got that so uh, i've turned two of his t-shirts that he gave me into a chair cover fantastic so there is the official valorex chair i thank you and it still spins around yes it does yeah so today's excitement folks was uh i nipped up to see frankie because i was in the area doing that graffiti thing so i thought i'll just nip in i thought it'd be asleep actually so i text him you know uh are you up and he went yes i am i said oh great get the coffee on then and uh so i went up to see him helped him out a little bit just to make sure he's all right and uh yeah he was he was doing all right he's in a, he's in a bit bit pain but you know he's, he gets on but he just he, he soldiers on through there so Helps him do a few things, but uh, I've done that. He's, he's fine. He's good. And um, there's some, the main excitement today, folks, is we've been to the shops. Yeah, we've been out to Marks and Spencers. I've had a shower and I have a shave. Yes, I have. I've had a shave. And um, yeah, that's been our excitement. It's now about half past four, is it? Well, no, no, sorry. It's 20 to four, bake pardon. 20 to four, and I'm starving. But for tonight's tea, folks, I've got something that took Frankie to little. Helped him do his shop in there, and uh, so I thought oh, I might as well get a couple of things. So I got uh, a couple of sort of pizza things and a, and a, a goat's che goat's cheese, but sort of thing as well. So what I'll do is I'll make a potato salad. I've got potatoes there for Marks and Sparks, and I'll just make a nice potato salad there. Bit simple, boil the potatoes, then just cut them up and uh, mix them in with mustard and uh, some mayonnaise and some and an onion, of course. And that's it. It's dead simple. I better grind a pepper, you know. Grind pepper. Right, folks, in preparation of the potato salad, I have chopped the potatoes. Yes, there we go. A bit controversial, I know, but um, that's the way I like to do so, it. So, yeah, I'm waiting to boil these potatoes, folks. Um, some people like to just put them whole into the pan and then cut them uh, when they come out after they've cooled down. But I like to put mine in uh, sort of pre-chopped, if you know what I mean. So so you just, you just sieve them and uh, just leave them to cool down that way and that way it's uh well, I, I find it a, a, be, a sort of just a, a more economical way of uh boiling and cutting le, 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 what are they called legumes in france isn't it legume legume i think it's a potato legume yes right okay so yeah that was the exciting the excitement of uh, marks and spencers today all right pots on the boil uh once that's done with the uh the potatoes go in it's just a matter of just basically just uh, putting an onion chopping an onion putting it in a bowl and stirring up with mustard mayonnaise and some secret ingredients mm -hmm. right folks now my onions i like a chunky uh, potato salad i must admit so uh i like my onions to be sort of just coarsely cut really just like that so yeah i, I like my onions are said to be uh, nice and uh, like a chunky salad you know so uh, we just make the the uh, the onions. We just cut them very roughly into sort of uh, sort of size. They only go in a bowl anyway with mayonnaise and um, some mustard and the secret ingredients, of course, which uh, I can't let you into. I'm sorry, it's a jag secret only that is known only to myself. And I think uh, I, mean, I think maybe I told Rosie about it as well. But uh, anyway, the secret ingredient just makes it so much more. This is art and craft time here i'm trying to make some stuff with origami uh, i've made a swan look i made a swan folks there you go and uh, i think I made, I made a butterfly but it came out quite as well as i planned and we're in the middle of doing a um a star or something so but i've been cooking tea now so so i'll have to take a back seat at the moment yes yeah, so this is a potato it's a potato salad uh is now in the process of getting the mayonnaise mixed in there you want some Dijon in there as well some black pepper some salt and uh, my secret ingredient so let's see if we've got enough mayonnaise first of all. right I can tell you folks that uh, potato salad was absolutely gorgeous man I just had enough enough of that Dijon must have gone through it so it's so simple man that, that is it just chop up your boiled potatoes onions mayonnaise enough mayonnaise to make it you know not not too too uh to overpowering mayonnaise just enough to cover the stuff and then you put in your, your dijon mustard as well nice nice little spoonful of dijon and that just gives that oh man that zestiness the dijon was actually this the secret ingredient but uh because i kind of like it out of the bag at the start there but that is so so that was so good man i can't wait to get my i bought a couple of things 
as I said, I was away with helping Frankie today, and I bought a couple of um, thingamajiggies when we were helping, was helping him do his shopping. We got, uh, what did we get? We got a couple of these. I can't remember what they're called now. They're little, well, actually, I do. One, one of them is called. Pete. Oh, no, I've got something. It's a disaster. Hang on. Oh, no, folks. Oh, right. It's okay. Danger averted. Yeah, right. So I've got uh, a couple of slices of vegetarian pizza. And these things, I think, I think these things are, uh, I'm not sure what they are, man. Sort of, some sort of goat cheese mixed in with tomatoes kind of thing. I'm not actually sure. But uh, we shall find out. We'll have a look at them, see what they are. Yeah, look, they're just like little sort of flatbreads with uh, some cheese and tomato and a bit of garlicky sort of herbs. Mm, that should be quite nice, actually. So we're going to have a couple of them, one, a slice of that each. Uh, with, along with some uh, couscous. Where are you, couscous? Is I see Ainsley? Ainsley, where are you? There he is. We're having Ainsley's um, tomato and chilli spice tonight. I'm actually starving now, so I think I'm going to put the oven on. It's, uh, it's quarter past five. Yes, yes, quarter past five. So oven goes on. Well, the origami seems to be a bit of a disaster, folks, I'm afraid. Look, so, I mean, it's not bad as a first tip. It's supposed to be a star. Like a sort of a decoration thing, so... It's a little bit skew if I've done something not something's not quite right there, but we'll get it. We'll, we'll, we'll try again. And what's this here? What we're we gonna make next? A uh, a a bird. Oh, she sings, Toy and you can't have it. I've got your toy and you can't have it. I've got your toy and you can't have it. I've got your toy and you can't have it.